Hello friends, this video on chemical kinetics part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, kinetic energy of molecules. This is very important for the reaction. Why? Because, see, activation energy is what? The energy required to break a threshold. But from where we get the activation energy? We get it from the molecules and we get it from the kinetic energy of the molecules. So the kinetic the molecules which we have, they always move around and they form product, right? So these molecules have some kinetic energy. These molecules A, B, C will have some kinetic energy and they collide with the kinetic energy, right? So all these molecules will have a kinetic energy. The good point to note here is they don't have same kinetic energy. Please note all the molecules will not have all molecules will not have same kinetic energy. It's a big doubt now. See if, if one container has millions of molecules and they don't have same kinetic energy. Then how do we deal with the situation? Because we are concerned about kinetic energy because the kinetic energy is the one which is giving the energy of activation. If they don't have same kinetic energy, how do we deal? There are so billions of millions of molecules. It's very difficult to predict the behavior of one molecule actually. So what happened is, these two guys, Ludwig Boltzmann and James Clark, Maxwell, right? This is Maxwell and this is Boltzmann. They use statistics. They use statistics to pre predict the behavior of large number of molecules. And with this, they told that the distribution of kinetic energy, now we are talking about the kinetic energy distribution because it is very difficult to predict the behavior of one molecule with precision, right? So they are talking about distribution now. The distribution of kinetic energy that can be described by plotting this graph. This is the kinetic energy, this is the fraction of molecules. This is almost very slow kinetic energy, this is fast kinetic energy, right? This is increasing. Maybe let's go, this is, has value of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like this. Let's suppose this has 10. So, molecules here are more energetic, less energetic. Correct? This is less energetic. This is more energetic, this side. Because in this direction, the kinetic energy is decreasing. So, if I have a molecule here, that is more energetic, a molecule here, it is less energetic, right? So they plotted this graph and they found the peak of this graph, correct? And this peak of the graph determines most probable kinetic energy. That means, see, this is a fraction actually. So this is a zero fraction, maybe this is, let's suppose, 0.4 fraction. That means, this means almost, or not even 0.4, it will be less, it will be 0.2. This means 20% of the molecules will have this kinetic energy, that is the value 4. And maybe some 1% or 2% will have this values, some 10% will have this values, some 30% will have this values, 40% will have this values, like that. So it will go, it will decrease. This is the percentage. This is the maximum, this is 20%, let's suppose. This is a fraction, so it is 0.2. So, what he is trying to say is, this is the maximum probable kinetic energy. That means most of the molecules will have this kinetic energy, the peak of the graph. Correct? That is, the kinetic energy of the maximum particles of the molecules. So, if the, if the molecules has, let's suppose, 100 particles, maybe 0.2, that means 20 particles will have this kinetic energy. Right? And rest 80 will be in this side and this side. Some of them will have more, some of them will have less. It will be distributed, but it will be in this curve. And they will find the peak. The peak will tell the number of molecules which will have this kinetic energy, right? And this kinetic energy which you get is nothing but the maximum number of molecules will have this kinetic energy. See, the point I'm trying to drive here is all the molecules will not have same kinetic energy. Some will have less, some will have more. And the, the distribution will be something like this. A good number will have very less kinetic energy. A good number will have high kinetic energy. But most of them will have, it's a bell curve. 
we have seen this kind of curl. Most of them will have average kinetic energy, right? So these will be the average kinetic energy. But we talk about the energy of activation. This is somewhere here because energy of activation is pretty high, right? Generally pretty high. And we have seen in the graph also. We have seen this graph. So this point A and this point B, let's say there is a point C. This point A is minus this point generally. And this B is minus this point in this graph. So most of the species will have this kinetic energy. That means only this much species, which is not orange, you see only this much species is exactly what I have drawn here. Only this many molecules will have energy more than activation energy. Because if this is my activation energy, all the molecules on the left will have energy less than activation energy. All the molecules on the right will have energy greater than activation energy. Correct? So only these many molecules on the left hand side, on the right hand side, right, this orange one or, or the red uh, shaded one are the one which are capable of forming product. Hope you understand. See, this is this is my energy side. Energy is increasing in this side. So most of the molecules will have this energy, A. Some will less, some will have more. And if this is my activation energy, so in that graph I can say that only these many molecules are capable of taking part in the reaction because they have energy more than activation energy. They can collide with a high speed and create an impact. Even if these molecules collide, they will not create impact because their energies are lesser. Their energy is less. Focus on this line. Their energy is less than activation energy. Correct? So energy is less than activation energy. It will have no impact on collision. They will have high impact. When they collide, they will form product. Right? So molecules on this side will have high impact on collision. They will form product. Molecules on this side will have low impact and they will not form product. Now if you increase the temperature, what happens is, this is the curve, new curve, the one in the red. Now if you see, the probable, most probable kinetic energy is also increased. Earlier it was A, now it has become A dash. And if you see there is a difference, right? The most probable kinetic energy has also increased. Correct? And if you see now the new area is this area, but in the green. Let me draw with dots like this, right? The one in the dots are my new area. And if you see, the new area is bigger than the old area. That means, and this is nothing but the high impact molecule. That means these molecules can create impact. These molecules have energy greater than activation energy and they can create product. When they collide, they can create product. So when they are increasing the temperature, the number of molecules which has energy greater than activation energy is increasing or the molecules participating in reaction is increasing right so on increasing my temperature fraction of molecules that are capable of that can take part in reaction or that has energy greater than activation energy, right? Increase. Since the number of or the fraction of molecules increase, which can actually create impact, which has energy greater than activation energy, the rate of reaction also also increase. Now the rate of reaction depends now on the molecules which can impact that is the molecules which has energy greater than activation energy in first case we have only this orange these are the number of molecules which had energy greater than activation energy when you increase the temperature we got this red line this graph we got the gris, this green shaded area is the area and that tells the number of molecules which has energy greater than activation energy so the number of molecules which has energy greater than activation energy has increased on increasing temperature since the molecules which determine the rate of reaction now, right? That is the molecule which has higher activation energy or energy greater than activation energy that has increased, the rate of reaction will increase. Please note all the molecules, they don't take part in the reaction.
because they have energy less than activation energy so they will not be able to form product only molecules on this side right side they take part in the action right And the concept, the explanation he gave the Arnis was on increasing the temperature. See, on increasing the temperature, the number of molecules is same. Correct? The molecules count for increase. But the concept he gave was all molecules don't take part in reaction. Some molecules take part in reaction. And those molecules have energy greater than activation energy. He introduced a new term called activation energy. On increasing the temperature, the number of molecules that take part in the reaction the fraction of molecules that increase because activation energy I mean the whole energy of the system increase so the molecules number of molecules which has energy greater than activation energy increase and since for the reaction all the molecules are not important only these special molecules are important and these special molecules have increased so the rate of reaction has increased correct so that was the explanation given by Arrhenius. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.